Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Samira and here on my channel, I post lifestyle content every Sunday and Wednesday. If you want to see more of me, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you everything I wish I knew before I started YouTube and all the things I wish I did before posting my first video. The absolute first thing you need to do is come up with your channel name. For me, I just did my name, but if you want to come up with something a little bit more creative and something more eye-catching, just one thing I do say is don't copy other people. First of all, you could get confused for someone else's channel if you're like, hey, go check out my YouTube channel, blah, 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 and then they're like, I couldn't find you, someone else. So that's one reason. Also, it's just not cool to copy other people's names if it's a creative one and that they came up with on their own. Next, you need to make sure your channel is completely set up before you post your very first video. This is something I didn't do until after I posted my first or second video, which I wish I did, just because it looks more organized when someone goes onto your channel. You wanna make sure you have your channel banner made. And I made mine on Bonto, I think, or maybe Photo Grid. If you guys want me to show you how I made my channel banner, I can always do that. And then you also wanna make sure you have your intro made. This is also something I didn't have super planned and prepared. I just threw together like this pic collage one that wasn't very good because it had like the watermark, but now I have a different one, which I like a lot more. And you also want to make sure you have an end card so you can persuade people to click on more videos and give you more views and more likes and more watch time. Then you need to figure out what videos you want to post. Are you going to be posting lifestyle content, just vlogs? Are you going to do DIYs? Is it going to be a gaming channel? You really need to figure out what you want your theme and your niche, I guess, to be. Once you've figured out that, you want to make sure you have lots of videos planned. And this is something I didn't do the best of. I just kind of, again, rushed into it and it was like, it's just now or never and I didn't really plan out what I wanted to do but you want to make sure you have videos planned so you can be consistent. You don't want to just make up some random video and have it be low quality and not like a bunch of effort into it and just being a really bad video. You want to make sure you're putting your time and effort into planning your videos and making your videos. If you're not sure what videos you want to post or what types of videos to post, just look up a couple of your favorite YouTubers channels, see what you like, just scroll through YouTube. And if you don't know what videos to post, but you found like your niche, then just look up like 60 video ideas for lifestyle YouTubers or like 60 gaming videos you can do. Is that even a thing? I'm not sure. But if that's a thing, then you can look up that to find video ideas. Make sure you have a posting schedule. I recommend you post two to five times a week if that's even possible to post five times a week because the more you post the more chances you have of someone finding your channel and the more watch time you can get the more subscribers you can gain you just want to have as much videos out as possible for me personally i can't do more than two videos a week if i want them to be high quality but i definitely think if you're just starting out you should do more than just one video a week if you want to grow after that i highly highly recommend studying the youtube algorithm to figure out how you can really boost your videos, get them on the recommended page, get them on the suggested bar. You want to figure out how you can make sure your videos ring in search and stuff like that. Um, you wanna make sure you're picking out really good keywords. You're doing really good videos that a lot of people search up. So that will also help you with your videos that you wanna post and your video ideas. Next, you wanna figure out what equipment you need and I would highly suggest just trying to use stuff around the house when you're first starting out. You don't want to spend money on like a thousand dollar camera and then figure out that YouTube is not for you and it's just really stressful and stuff. You don't want to buy all these like memberships like Visco and Final Cut Pro before you've actually po started posting videos and you know how you feel about YouTube and how you're liking it. Personally, for me, that means filming on an iPhone and putting together a DIY tripod. I'll flip the camera around and show you. It's just like this broken music stand that I've kind of put on masking tape and I've rearranged it in my room to figure out like the best spot and you also want to make sure you have good lighting for me I have a lot of um, light coming through my room because I have two windows and just where my room is in the house gets a lot of light but if you are filming in like a darker place or want a place that doesn't get a lot of lighting you want to make sure you at least have like a cheap ring light or some kind of artificial light also want to figure out where you're going to be editing your videos are you going to be editing on your iphone on your laptop on your imac on your ipad what are you going to be editing on 
and what software you're gonna use. Personally, I use iMovie because it's free and has a lot of great features that you can do just built in in the app, and I think it's super convenient. And I also use Fonto for my thumbnails. I absolutely love Fonto. I also use it to put like green screens in my videos if I need them. Um, sometimes I do like my texts with green screen just because I really like the um, fonts you can download into Fonto using like defont.com. But you wanna make sure you know what you're gonna be editing on and make sure like you've worked out the kinks of the editing software before you start using it. You don't wanna just like try to throw together something and look absolutely horrible. You wanna make sure you maybe watch some videos about how to use the editing software so you know how to use it to make your videos. Also recommend using non-copyright music even if you're not getting paid right away, obviously, because you're not gonna get monetized right Right away unless you get a thousand subscribers right away and 4,000 watch hours but you're not gonna get paid right away I still recommend using a non copyright music because in the future if you're if you do get monetized you're gonna still get views on your old videos and you could potentially make money but not if it gets copyright so me personally I use this website called thematic and it just has non-copyright music as long as you give credit to the artists that make the songs. And it has some amazing music. And if you haven't um, seen my aesthetic non-copyright music, um, that's all from Thematics, just go check it out. I will link it in the iCard so you guys have some non-copyright music to use. Last thing I recommend doing before starting your YouTube channel is try to make a couple videos like the YouTube style and like with the thumbnail and the editing and everything like that and try sending it to a friend or family member and see if they have any like recommendations for your channel or any critiques, constructive criticism they can give you to make your channel potentially better and to make your videos better before you introduce them to the public. That is it for the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want a chance for a shout out in my next video, comment this emoji in the comments along with something else and you will have a shot at a shout out in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.